trust in each other, you're ready to accept each other as husband and wife. To pursue life's adventure together, you'll acknowledge this by answering a question of commitment. Do you, David, take Andrea to be your lawfully wedded wife, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your one true love from this day forward? In the presence of God, your family and friends here today, do you offer your solemn vow to be her faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, in joyful times as well as in times of sorrow? And you promise to love her unconditionally, which is in bold print and it's underlined for greater significance. To support her in her goals, to honor, respect, laugh with, cry with, and cherish for as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I do. I do. All right. You guys heard that, right? Yeah. And do you, Andrea, take David to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your one true love from this day forward? In the presence of God, your family and friends here today, do you offer your solemn, solemn vow to be his faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, in joyful times as well as in times of sorrow? And do you promise to love him unconditionally to support him in his goals, to honor, respect, laugh with, cry with, and cherish for as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I do. I do. Now we have the presentation of rings by which you seal the vows or the promises that you just made to each other. You have your rings. The ring is a symbol of commitment that you're making today on your wedding day as you promise to always be there for each other through thick and thin, through good times and bad. Your wedding rings are most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you've chosen to be bonded, to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. Your rings carry a potent double message. You are individuals, and yet you belong to each other. You are not alone. As you wear them through time, let them reflect not only who you are, but also the beautiful union that you are now creating. So David, would you please place the ring partway on Andrea's finger and repeat after me. I give this ring to you as a token of my love and my devotion to you. I bless you all that I am, all that I know, love and you as your love. With this name, I gladly make you and join my life to yours. All right, thank you. Let's bring all the way over here and seal the deal there. All right, would you also please place the ring part way on David's finger? And repeat after me. This ring, I give to you. As a token of my love and my devotion to you, I pledge to you all that I am and all that I will ever be as your wife. With this ring, I gladly marry you and join my life to yours. <coughs> well, David. Andrea, in the presence of God, your family and friends here today, you've spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. It is my legal right as a minister and my greatest joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. David and Andrea Inky. Now would you please stand as we introduce for the second time today our bride. 